So you're saying uh, wood chip tough? They will find the tower of the temple, the, the facade of the temple, so yes. two divisions. One to right hand side is very well preserved, one to left hand side is very destroyed, the one which was destroyed, it was destroyed by the very Christian people. Why they destroyed it? To make sure that Isis and those gods aren't true gods. That's why we'll find all the parts which were destroyed, were destroyed by the early Christian people. But the other part... Oh, the early Christian The people. early Christian people. Oh, I see. But why they didn't destroy uh, which the other part? Year? Yeah. That was in the first century, in the second century. Okay. But why the other part was then destroyed? The other part was hidden under the sand. Oh, this this was they like couldn't sand. see. That's right, they couldn't see it. That's why it was destroyed. So the question is now, if you look at the figures, yeah. it is the bodies that have been destroyed, but the, uh, the features at the top, that's right. like the, the, the horn and the... Yeah, and, the, the, and, the, the crown, and the sun. That's right. They destroyed yes. the, the, the body itself. Yes, the body. The figures. Uh, yes. The body. But they didn't destroy the crown. They didn't destroy the stick. They didn't destroy Why? the key of the life. Because it's, it isn't it's something not uh, the, the mean the person himself. But the oh, crown so they were the targeting the The person, the, gods. the body himself. That's right. Oh, okay. And especially the, this symbol, I mean, the, the symbol which looks like a, a cross. We call yes. it the key of the life. It wasn't destroyed. Have a look. This lady, she has something in her left hand. Oh, the Ankh. That's the Ankh. That's the key of the life. Oh, yes. It wasn't destroyed because it isn't a part of her body. And the second reason, it's similar to the cross. And they were Christian. That's why uh, they didn't destroy it. All right. Okay, I see. Okay. So, who are these figures? At the, sure. This is Isis? So, this, this is the right hand side. Extremely right hand side is Isis. And in the middle, you find the falcon. That's her son. Yes. And two left hand side of the falcon that was a half of of beauty in ancient time and that was the wife of the falcon. Oh, the, the one on the left. Yeah, that's right. And who's the one on the left? Her name is Hathor. Oh, that's Hathor. That's a Hathor. And on the right, that's Isis. the mother Isis. Isis, that's the mother-in-law. Oh, the mother-in-law. Oh, the mother-in-law. That's right. Oh, uh, so Isis is... She has a child that's with the falcon and yes. the falcon got married to... To the... To Hathor. Hathor. That's right. All right. And so this is okay. And the figures at the, who's the figure on the left here? Oh, that's all this traditional one. You'll find who's this now? That's a king. And oh, this that's the pharaoh. Traditional figure. The king okay. standing and offering the offering uh, the the enemies to the god. And who's this? That was one of the Greek kings. His name is Potomi. Oh, this lady here. That's right. So Potomi, oh. that was the Greek kings who ruled Egypt in okay. that era between 332 till 30 BC. Oh, I that see. were the followers of Alexander the Great. Oh, so this I temple see. is Greek temple. It was built by Greek people, Greek kings. Greek kings built this temple, but they claimed that they were Egyptian. And they built even temples for Egyptian gods. Oh, okay. So they built this temple just to prove that they are Egyptian and they are the children of Egyptian gods and they believe in Egyptian gods. So Egyptian people will accept, what they, accept them like Egyptian, uh, Egyptian rulers and Egyptian kings. Oh, I see. So, so did they build it themselves or did they commission Egyptians to do sure. the work? That's right. Excellent. Okay. Oh, so they see. paid for Egyptian. But who was the builder? Who was the artist? Who was the architect? That was Egyptian. Oh, Egyptian. Because they got yes. a great uh, yes. uh, experience after they built after they built the great temples in Luxor uh, area. I mean that this temple is and 280, but once you are in Luxor, you'll find a temple 2000 BC. Oh, Karnak is that's Karnak, 2000 BC. 2000 BC. That's right. So that's why and that was the same group or the the grandchildren of the same workers and the same artists and the architect who built in Karnak. They yes. built here. Yes, and but you can the, see there's a... The, the Greek and Roman kings made just the beds in, just the order them to bed. Oh, okay. The builders, and that's why I found the language even, the language and everything is it's written in ancient Egyptian language. So All you right. won't find any difference between the Greek temples and the ancient Egyptian temples. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, thank you very much. I was listening. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you very much. How are you, brother? He's a good teacher. He's a good teacher. Yes, thank thank you. You. yes he much. is. That's why, that's why he's with me, you see. That's right. Thank you so much. So, where are you from? I'm from Komombo here. Oh, you're from Komombo? Yes. So, you are the 
but we are brothers. Yes, we are. You, take and give you look. It to him? You look like me. I look like you. you see? Same, same uh, blood, you know. Yeah, same blood. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa. South Africa. Oh, Bafana. Oh, welcome. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Welcome thank you. home. Yes, and same uh, country. Same country. Okay. Same roots. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I was listening to him. He's yeah. really good. Yeah, he is. He's really good. He is. So, what is your name? Huh? What is it? Are you also a tour guide? I'm sure. a tour guide, yes. Ah. All right. But, yeah. but sometimes we listen to each other. Ah, yes. Thank you oh, very much. Yes. <laughs> very good, man. Very good. Ah, I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's a fucking love it. Hotel. Okay. So, uh, this is going up? That's going up. Um, and this is the first part of the temple? Are we going to somewhere special? Why is it going up? Because this is the very, very beginning of the temple, so that should be uh, something like that. Okay. And for the Hansa, for the Hansa, you find the way to all this. Okay. Oh, they were positioned here. And here. So we have a line here. And to right hand side it was the obelisk. Left, okay. To left hand side it was a line also and obelisk. So everywhere in Egyptian, Egyptian art we find yeah, this symmetric. I mean that there are two obelisks, two statues. One yes. representing southern Egypt and one representing northern Egypt. All right. What happened to the obelisk? Why the, uh, the obelisk? Why the obelisk? Yes. The obelisk was assembled for the god, sun god. Yes. It was like a finger which was uh, pointing like to, to, to the, the heavens. Sky. Yes, That's yes. Right. What happened to the object? Uh, the obelisk itself. The obelisk was moved to England. Right now, once ah, we're yes. in England, we'll find uh, we, something we have uh, like uh, an obelisk today in London. We yes. call it Cleopatra's Needle. It was taken from here about 1880. I'm and sure that people were not happy about that. <laughs> the second one is on the way to Europe, but it sunk down in the Mediterranean. That's why the second obelisk is in the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea in the uh, Mediterranean. Ah, uh, in the Mediterranean, okay. All right. Okay.